Hello, this is Mr. Shumway. This video clip is a review of some of the things that you've learned, both that we might see on a second quarter midterm. So a company had the following sales over the first four years of its existence. We could think of those as um, coordinate points, like one, year one, and 106 would be the sales. And we could have another one that says year two would have a 124 was the sales. Oops. Okay, so we need to find the increase in the sales. So we would say 124 minus the 106. That tells us we're increasing by 18. Well, let's check just to make sure. How about 160 minus 142? That is also 18. So we can say that our, <laughs> our equation, our sales is increasing 18 every year. But we need to figure out, like kind of like year zero. We have year one, so we need one year before that. Several ways to get that. Um, for this case, we could just subtract 18 from the 106, but let's just do a general case. So if we say, um, I'll plug this point into S equals 18T plus B. The sales is 106, and 18 times 1 plus B. So 18 times 1 is 18, so if I just subtract my 18, And that tells me 88 is equal to the B. So now I can go back to my equation that I was writing out. And if I start at 88 and increase by 18, I will get to 106. So it continues going from there. You can plug in any of these points to check and see if you have it right. Write the inequality that describes the graph below. So we have a y-intercept of negative 2, because this is 0, 0 right here. So we know we have a y-intercept of negative 2. Find the slope we go down 2 over 2. Down 2 over 2. So the slope is negative 1. So we could say negative 1x, or we could just say negative 1. So y, well, we are shading below, so it's less than, and it's not solid, so it's, we don't have the equals line in there. We can take out the one. We can leave it in. Either way is fine. y equals negative 2x plus 3. This equation has no points in which quadrant. Well, we know that the y-intercept is positive. So it's going to be above 0, above the origin. And then from there, it goes down and over. So it goes through quadrants 1, 2, and 4, but not 3. The line represented by negative 2x plus 10y equals 15 crosses the x-axis. That x equals what? Well, if you're on the x-axis, y is equal to 0. So let's just replace y with a 0. If we do that, then we have negative 2x plus 10 times 0, which is also 0. So we just have negative 2x equals 15. If we divide both sides by negative 2, then we have x equals negative 7.5. Graph the following system of inequalities. That means it has to satisfy both this one and this one. So this one has a y-intercept of 4. So if I say that each one of those squares is 1, then I would start 4 squares up from 0. And we're talking about a slope of up 2 over 1. So we draw a perfectly straight line there. And this says greater than or equal to. That's why we put a solid line because of the equal to. We're going to shade everything above that line. And over here we have a negative 4 for an intercept. So we'll go down to negative 4. And the slope is negative 2, so down 2 over 1. 
So there's our, maybe I should change colors of pins. There's our other line. And it says to shade less than, so we're shading below. So the places where they're both satisfied are in this region here. And it continues out beyond that, but that area satisfies this system of inequalities where it has to satisfy both the one and the other. A car rental agency charges $31 plus 30 cents per mile. Another car rental agency charges $51 plus 18 cents per mile. Write the equation for when the two agencies will cost the same amount. The same is equals. One company is $31 plus 30 cents per mile times the number of miles. The other company is $51 plus 18 cents per mile times the number of miles. They're not asking us to solve this one this time, but they're just asking us to write it. So this is just kind of a review of some things that we haven't done in a while. Wow.